So my friend, I invite you to believe in Jesus. And if you have a question, give it to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe just a, uh, like a general question. I saw in one of your videos that you said that you don't believe in a denomination. You said you're just Christian. That's it, basically. Well, is that is, did Jesus create any denomination? No, but That's it. I believe in Jesus. No, the nation does not exist. This is the creation of a priest and men who they are fighting over politics. If you if you check the reason for all those things, you will find it's about politics, kings and uh, royals, and you know this is none. This has nothing to do with Jesus. Anything involved money, politics, uh, power, is not not from Christ. So people, yeah, the, the one who divide us, the Bible is making it clear. The vision is not from God. The vision is from the devil. So we as a Christian, we believe in Jesus and Jesus is our savior, not a sect. We don't believe in sect. Who is going to save us? It's not being Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. It's being follower of Christ for he is the savior. Christian prince cannot save you. I cannot even save myself. So who's going to save me? Jesus. It's not a bishop. It's not the Pope. It's not a Protestant. It's not Orthodox. Nobody can save you. Save one person. That is the Messiah. This, this is what Christianity is about. So to be Christian is to follow Jesus, the Christ. Everything created by him and for him. It's not a bishop. It's not a priest. All men are sinners, the Bible says. All aren't men. The theology is slightly different. Like no, theology is it, it's not even important. If you check it out, you will find that they are very silly and they are debating about all things. It's so silly and so stupid. Like, should we uh, make say Hail Mary? Who cares if you say Hail Mary? Actually, it's in the Bible. The angels they say to her, you know, blessed are you, Mary. So you know, they they, they, they try. You know, that's what the devil try to do. Try to divide us so we will not be united. And the division is about something really silly and stupid. Otherwise, all of those churches agree that the only Savior is the Messiah. Only. The only judge is the Messiah. The only one is coming back is the Messiah. The only one by Him. Only the whole world will be saved is the Messiah. So what we are agreeing about, what we don't agree, we agree about the most important thing which is a savior, and we disagree about things. I believe it is very silly and even very stupid. I see, I see. Do you have general advice for someone who is either embracing Christianity or really close to it? Like do, to, to don't, check- Don't follow things? a sect. Don't follow a sect, okay. follow Jesus, my friend. Okay. Don't say I'm a Protestant. Don't say I'm a Catholic. Don't say I'm Orthodox. Say I am a Christian. This is how the Bible call us. We don't have other name. You follow Christ, you belong to him. You follow a priest, you belong to the priest. I will never follow a priest. Christian prince is a sinner. Whoever follow me is a fool. Christ is not. The wise man follow... Just Christ then? Christ only. Yeah. Because he is the only one who has no sin. He is the only one who is perfect. Why you want to follow someone? He is not perfect. He do wrong. He confessed his sin. All of the Bible confirmed that all of us, we should confer, confess our sin to each other. So if all of us, we confess, which means even the disciple of Jesus, they confess their sin to each other. Which means we don't even follow the disciple of Jesus. We follow what God gave them to tell us. We follow what God said to them to tell us. We are not their followers. We are. We have one master. That is the Messiah. And how do you do it with church, for example? Like, how do you decide what church you go to or not go to? I say, you know, I like through my experience, I have thousands and thousands of Muslims who left Islam talking to me. I always say to them, you go to a church, you see where you find yourself comfortable, beautiful, you know, you find that there is a spirit of God in that place, then that is the place. Because if you don't feel, because a church is just a building, and there is people. But there is some, they are fake. There is a priest who is there for money. There is a priest. He is not a man of God. The Bible warned us that there is, you know, be aware of false teachers who will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So I cannot tell you which church you go to. You go. And when you find a place where you find peace and love, and you are connected with the Spirit of the Lord, then you are home. 
it's not about a person by name. It's not about a church as a location, as a geography. It's about where you find your peace and love. And then you will find the Lord. If I go to your house, and your house is so beautiful. Villa, big villa. You know, you are king, maybe. You are so rich. But then I found myself stranger. I found myself not comfortable. For some reason, I don't know why. Then this is not my house. And then I go to the house of somebody he is poor. He have nothing, nothing fancy furniture, but I find myself beloved. I found myself welcome. I found myself, we are, I have a family. That is my home. So you will find what you are looking for. The Lord will help you. See, we spoke before about the Lord. You said to me, the Lord changed me. I said to you, the Lord will change you the second you, you decide to change yourself. So from this point, if you decide to become a Christian, and now you left Islam, the Lord will guide you and the Lord will be with you. And you will go through a different experience. And then you grow in faith. The same as a tree. You know, when you plant the seed, the seed is a small. Start giving small, tiny leaves. And, you know, and then this is small, tiny leaves. One day they will become big, huge, massive tree. Nobody can take it from the ground. Not even a hurricane. So you have to go through the process which is going to change you from iron to steel. And that will go through a process. It's not something that happened right away. So if you decide to become a Christian, always your refuge is the Messiah, and he will help you. I see. Thank you, man. Thank you. Just one final question that I have. All um, right. It's just about in general. Like I heard Muslims say that as a critic, but I also read on it, and I'm curious. How do you look at certain um, uh, like rituals or uh, traditions within Christianity, like for example with Christmas or with Easter, mm -hmm. that appear to be from other religions, like for example the Christmas tree in particular? No, this is false. You know, the, 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 all what they say is just to make you hate the, the Christmas because other religion, the Bible itself speak about the people who worship trees. Do Christian worship trees? No, no. Okay, don't. so what does have to do with our religion? This, this is false. So if if any tradition make children happy i am not against it but if tradition making things ugly like halloween it's disgusting so mm. uh, christmas it's have the name of christ it's about love and giving and sharing it's about family and if those decorations will make children happy more why not you know jesus want them to be happy he said let those little ones come to me so some who they hate Christmas because they hate Christianity and they are naive. They think, they, they, they fabricate stories like a Christmas. Do you know the history of the Christmas they used to decorate uh, trees? That's false. Those who used to do that, the Bible even speak against them. But we are not worshiping trees and we have nothing to do with the tree as God. This is just a tradition of a beauty. And uh, like, you know, uh, when... when uh, uh, you get married, you have pictures. Do you put them in a frame? Yeah. Okay, why do you put them in a frame? Yeah, well, I would like it just to, you know, it looks good. So to exactly. That's all. Yeah. It's look good. People. Uh, not idolatry, you mean that? Yeah, like I mean, not, you are not yeah. you are not worshipping yourself. And, mm. and you are not putting a frame because they are the special one from all mankind. But simply the picture look good and picture is a memory. So uh, uh, Christmas is a memory too. I, uh, I remember myself when I was a child. And this is not the best memory of my life, you know, waiting in the window to see this guy, Santa Claus, bringing me uh, the gift. You know, it's beautiful. It's nice. So let the children be happy in the name of Christ, happiness and peace on earth. So this is what Christ can do. You see, the Muslims, why they are shouting takbir, Allahu Akbar, and they attack people everywhere. With the Christ, imagine if all the world is celebrating the spirit of Christ, which is in the Christmas how beautiful the world is. In fact, Muslims around the world, they are celebrating Christmas and as never before. Why? Because Muslim in their holiday, there's nothing happy. It's just food. The girls are wearing a pant over pant over pant and hijab. And then when she go to the swing, the mama she is watching because somebody will look at her panty. <laughs> and you know, they are, yeah, they are not, you know, there's no, there's no childhood, you know? There's no childhood. Uh, in Christianity, we are experiencing love, not tradition. In Islam, they are experiencing nothing except hatred. 
even the food they eat they eat because of fear so when a muslim he want to eat a food he have a phobia a phobia from the food who cooked the food who brought the food where the food is it halal food even when they buy shoes is it halal have you ever heard of halal shoes why you want to eat it <laughs> you know i saw a sticker in a shoe it says halal shoe so uh, 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 Dawa, uh, he have halal cat food mental you know this is this is a i'm not joking you can search it right now halal cat food you you, okay. you, you did not see his videos no, no, I, I've all his video, field, his video, you know. he sell halal, halal cat food. So they are obsessed with rituals and stupidity. Halal cat food, I mean, it's a cat. The cat eat mice, <laughs> the cat eat fly, the cat eat cockroaches, and now you want to sell halal scam, you know? So if you are a fool, you are a fool, everybody will fool you, you know? Like, I, you know, I have the green law. It says that uh, uh, law does not protect the fools. You cannot say he fooled me, you know, it doesn't protect you. You've been fooled because you're a fool. So they fool you by rituals, which will, they, they claim will make you a better person. Like I go and kiss the black stone, what that would do to me? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I spend a <laughs> couple was, of thousands of dollars. <laughs> I live in Pakistan or Bangladesh. I spend all my life making money to save in money to save five thousand dollars. All my life saving, and then I go spend it in air ticket. Half of it will go to the government of Saudi Arabia, visa, money, hotel, food, and then I have to buy some gift. And all of this to do what? To walk around a room and then kiss a black stone. And then I became a hajji, and now Allah forgive my sin. <laughs> Allah will not forgive your sin unless you go around that room. That's it, you know? No. I mean, you have to go and kiss the black stone, which is in the shape of a vagina. So there is something is stupid and it's obvious. You see, in a Christianity, that's why I say to you, it's not donation will purify you. It's not even a good deed will purify you. Because there's no good deed at the end of the day equal to your sin. Our sin is way far guilt more than any good deed we can do so it's it's like saying uh i do sin and then i buy some detergent and then i put myself in the laundry machine and i will become so clean that is a very silly idea because sin is in your mind is in your brain is in your breathe and things you do in life you know we walk in the street we see things we wish things we get tempted and we cannot really claim, nobody can claim that he is a person who can kill sin. In fact, what happens every day, uh, that sin is killing us. That's why the Bible says, the wage of sin is death. The Bible did not say, the wage of sin is death unless you pay God. God, you cannot bribe God. You cannot. You can bribe a government officer. You can bribe a, 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 a cheating man. But God, you cannot fool him by your money or, you know, hey, I made a donation. Hey, you know, my sin is forgiven. That doesn't doesn't uh, work. So we are forgiven by the grace of God. But however, our good deeds as a Christian should come automatically. That's why Jesus said, from their fruit, you shall know them. And the good of fruits is not you even going in the street and say, hey, I want to give you donation and shouting about it. The Lord, he mentioned that if you give it with the right hand, don't let the other hand know. And he warned us not to pray like Muslims who pray in the corners so they can receive the glory of everybody. So the Messiah, he says, when you pray, you go to your closet and you close your door. So you pray to your father, to your Lord in a private between you and him. Nobody saw me praying. I pray. I don't pray. None of anybody business. Muslims are a hypocrite religion. They even have a, like when I was a kid, I go to a house of a, a kid in my age and his father sitting in the sofa and he have little rock and he keep hitting his face, his head, forehead with it. So what your, what your father doing? This is funny, you know? Yeah. yeah. He says he is making dark spot. It's why he's doing that? He said, because people will think that he is praying all day long. Really? Oh yeah. That's why you see Hamas. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm serious. This is why you see Hamas they have that dark spot in the top of their head because this is supposedly showing that how many raka, how many bone down, 
Ah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, didn't know. Because the Quran says, Simatahum ala wujuhahum. 